How's it going, everybody, and welcome back. This is Wake Run Collapse. Back with you again. I've got box number 5 of 12 of Japanese Champion Road for us today. So, I just got back from New York City last night. Uh, it was a five and a half hour bus ride to get home, just as it was a five and a half hour bus ride to get there. Uh, so, today's topic is going to be talking about some vacation stuff. So, in the comment section below, I want to let you guys know that this is going to be a little bit off topic, but I'd like to hear your favorite vacation that you've ever taken. Tell me about it. You could just say, I went to blank, or you can say, I liked this place because this, this, and the other thing, and this going on in my life and all that other stuff. I love to hear what you have to say. Uh, so as we dig in and we look for additional full art stuff, we get a slacking hollow to start. Uh, but I do want to talk about the subject of vacation. Now, I've never been to New York City before, and I had myself a good time. Uh, it is pretty expensive to be in and stay in New York City. I stayed actually really close to Times Square uh, in a pretty cool, like, modern-ish hotel that was there. Uh, so I enjoyed that and ate around in a few places, you know, saw some of the more touristy things. Uh, like I saw the Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, all that good stuff. Uh, but those individual experiences uh, were not the reason that I enjoyed it. Uh, so the reason that we went uh, is because we saw The Lion King on Broadway uh, Wednesday night, uh, which was absolutely terrific. Now, uh, I had gifted this uh, to my fiance. Uh, I gifted her tickets. Uh, for the both of us so that we could go and it was a good excuse to to you know see the city for ourselves she's been i haven't uh, but this is a, a cool opportunity for me as well uh, so i kind of use it as an excuse to say hey let's get the tickets uh, but one of the things that i enjoy most about being in a different place on vacation is getting a feel for the city uh, now what i mean by that is being able to walk around the city you know not just like smelling the air, but looking at the buildings, getting a feel for the people, uh, getting a sense for what it's like to spend time there. Uh, and of course, no matter how long you're there for, and I was there for uh, just a little bit over 48 hours, uh, you do get a sense of direction as well. You know, once you start retracing your steps and uh, retreading, then uh, eventually you run into places that, oh, you've seen before, like... Hey, remember that restaurant? It's called the Chirping Chicken. Remember Two Boots Pizza? You know, kind of stuff like that. And it gives you this, like, odd response. Or at least it does that for me. So again, an Ariados Hollow. I like being in a different place and starting to recognize it. I know it's a very small piece of what the people who live there actually experience, but... It's also like, this one's a little, this one's might not sound the best, uh, but in my regular life, uh, I have a lot of obligations. Uh, I have a lot of people who reach out to me for assistance with stuff and I don't mind helping them. Uh, but my goodness, spending three days on vacation where you don't get a text from work and you don't get a phone call from someone who says, how do you do this? Oh, cool. The very colorful full art. What's going on, copycat? We are crushing it with the full art supporters. It's three out of five so far. Pretty cool. But yeah, as I was saying, it's uh, it's wonderful to kind of be free of that. Because when you start being asked stuff, when you start running into people that you know, uh, especially uh, in a work environment or another obligatory style environment, like I'm sure if you guys are going to school and then when you're away on vacation you feel a lot more relaxed you feel less on edge uh, that certain expectations are going to be made of you uh, and that is what adulting is all about uh, so it's a uh, it's wonderful to be able to free myself of that mindset just for a little while and just be able to soak up what it's like to be in the city is new york city my favorite place i've ever been no it's not but I had a great time. And I got to see the city through clouds and fog from the 86th floor of the Empire State Building because it is $57 to go to the 86th floor and then the 102nd floor. $57. Weeping Bell, Chin Chow, Slack Off, a Bell Sprout, and a Mr. Mime GX right there. 
So given that the hotel was, you know, not cheap and a lot of stuff in New York was not cheap, we took advantage of some opportunities to eat a little more cheaply. Uh, we didn't have like a night out where we just stayed out and drank and dropped a hundred dollars on drinks or anything like that. It was cool to just go down the street and get a free bagel and banana and a coffee. Well, we didn't get the coffee, but we got a coffee ball and like a coffee mug, I guess, plastic cup. And there's a Ludicolo to finish out the first half. Uh, in lieu of going to some other place for breakfast where it would probably be $15 a person. You know, finding little opportunities to save money without restricting your experience. Between the two of us, by not going 16 further floors up on the Empire State Building, we saved 40 bucks. By taking the bus instead of the train, we saved more than that. It was those kinds of decisions that I felt proud of, too says the guy who's opening Pokemon cards on YouTube. <laughs> just some decisions are sensible. You just have to be willing to make them. Now, as far as the next place I'm going, uh, visiting some of her family in Georgia in two weeks, uh, which I think I mentioned already. Uh, but aside from that, nothing big on the horizon. We do have a vacation that we share in October. We might, might go on a little road trip. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we might be working on some house stuff at the time, so we may forego it and just make the honeymoon the next trip that we go on. Uh, but it was cool to get away for a, a couple of days, at the very least. So now my story is done, and this is not a live stream. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. What's your favorite vacation you ever went on? Was it short? Was it nearby? Did you go really far away? Did you go somewhere like exotic or cool? Because I've got some exotic and cool places I'd like to go, but obviously I'd like to go to Tokyo at some point, maybe spend two weeks in Japan. But I may want to save that for after they do the uh, the Studio Ghibli theme park. So that might, that might not be coming for a few years. But a lot of those far away places, and I mean, even if you're younger, you might kind of get a sense for that too, as we get an Electro GX. You might kind of get a sense for it too. A lot of, the, a lot of those far away places that you go, um, especially if they're not a part of like a family trip, are probably once in a lifetime deals. I mean, I'd certainly like to go to Japan more than once, but I'm at peace with the fact that it may only happen once for me. Because there will be other places that we want to go. Uh, Australia is probably a once-in-a-lifetime trip for me. And we've actually discussed that being like a, a trip along those lines, as we get a for alligator hollow. Uh, a trip along those lines being like a, like a momentous thing, like a... I don't know, 5th anniversary, 10th anniversary, you know, let's celebrate by doing something that we wouldn't ordinarily do. I would not ordinarily try to fly to Australia. <laughs> Moving on, we've got Loreball, a Shuppet Totodile, the Super Energy, Super Recycle Energy System Victory Bell Hollow. <laughs> As it happens, I go away for a couple days and my, my brain turns to mush. Energy Recycle System. I got the, the words there, they're just not in the right order, I don't think. Uh, Pokenav, Fampi, a Cacnea, Larvitar, and Weeping Bell. We're going to finish the box in a pretty good time. Reminder, of course, uh, that there are seven boxes that you guys are going to be able to enjoy tomorrow on the channel. I will probably come back tonight and film that after I'm finished with Community Day in Pokemon Go. By the way, raiding in New York City, awesome. And actually, I'm going to take a quick second after this opening is done, and you can feel free to turn away at any time, but I'm going to show you something kind of weird on my phone as we do the recap. And I know saying it out loud and, you know, broadcasting it for everybody is probably going to cost me the next one. Uh, but you'll explain why it's funny. 
uh, when you see it. And there's the Lunatone Hollow, I was going to finish it up. Alright, get some of this scrap out the way. Alright. So we'll let that load while we're while we're sorting through our our stuff. We do have a nice new colorful full art to add to the collection too. To match up with the other two full art supporters and the two full art Pokemon. That goes there, that's there. All right, so hollows in this opening. Lunatone, Blaziken, Victory Bell, Feraligator, Steelix, Slacking, Ludicolo, Steelix, Ariados, Tyranitar, and Slacking. I uh, got GXs of Articuno, Mr. Mime, and Electrode, and the full art copycat supporter card to finish it off. Now here's the funny thing I was going to show you. You know we were talking about raids in New York City and playing Pokemon Go and such? I'm 17 for 17 on Latias. And at this point, I really want to lose one so that if 100% happens to come along, um, I can, you know, have that stuff behind me. I'd just be too pressure filled to do it. Uh, in, uh, in comparison, I'm pretty darn good at catching legendaries because we usually don't do 20 man raids. But in New York City, we did seven 20 man raids, or at least 15 people. And I was seven for seven there. There's Latios. Uh, there's Kyogre, 12 for 16. Groudon, I wish I had done more of, but a lot of snow that time, 5 for 7. And then Rhea was 20 for 26. But yeah, 17 for 17 on it. Very strange. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you are not subscribed already, make sure you do so as well, because tomorrow is going to have more boxes of Champion Road than I've ever opened on the channel. Ever. 7 versus 5. 7 greater than 5. Okay, I'm going away now. Bye-bye.